Okay, so as I mentioned, um, this is actually one of my favorite reads to help students dig into Frankenstein, why it matters, and right now with everything that we're talking about in AI, it's a great text. So I took the URL, I went over to Diffit, and I told it, I want you to help me again with this, res with this resource at an 11th grade level in English. So it gives me a nice adapted reading passage. It gives me a summary, key vocabulary words, multiple choice questions, short answer, and then open-ended questions. So what I did was I grabbed these open-ended prompts. I went over to ChatGPT. This is the prompt that I gave it. You are an expert panel host. You are hosting a group discussion of three people. Your focus will be to scaffold the discussion creatively so your panel feel appreciated and they are given concrete steps for thinking more deeply about questions. You're going to give your panel a letter which will walk them through possible ways to unpack three open-ended questions, provide sentence starter stems, as well as a concept glossary that will help them th think deeply and prepare for the panel, offer them many sub-questions to ponder, and also provide them with a thoughtful way to approach building their answers. Then I copy-pasted those three open-ended questions, and I will, uh, I'll add this to a Google Doc that will be in um, the video description. So now my students are set up really with um, what I think is a pretty thoughtful approach. And I would ask them to take this letter and reorganize it. How can they set someone up for a conversation of those three questions even better? Um, two other things, of course, you know, the idea of implications or consequences comes up again and again. So I thought it might be fun even to have a conversation around consequences. So in Adobe Firefly, the prompt that I gave it was an abstract representation of the concept consequences. This is four different art outcomes of that. If I ask it to switch to photo and generate, this will take a quick moment here. It'll give me other options. I might then use these images Again, this is Adobe Firefly, to have a conversation about the concept of consequence. So it's meant to be abstract. Is there an abstract representation? Which one is the best uh, example of that? And then lastly, uh, if you've not yet played around with Elicit, this is a great resource uh, for doing research. So again, uh, if you've got students who are learning the art and craft of research, Elicit um, is a great tool where you can kind of just put in any research question. So I've asked it, why is Frankenstein relevant to the study of AI ethics? I say go, it's going to search for papers and it will point me to a summary of the top four which is really amazing. Um, so again, if you've got a great library on campus, you could have students dig into these even further. But I've got this great, amazing summary here to get us started. So I hope that was helpful just looking at, again, how you can take one resource for study and expand it. The link to every tool that I just mentioned will be also in the show notes, or sorry, in the video description. Thanks for watching.